Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. I wanted to do a quick review on these uh, pastels. I just finished using them for a couple of tutorials. Um, and I just wanted to kind of give you an update on this because it's a new color range from a set that I reviewed in the past. I will link the original Paul Rubin set of 40 soft pastels in the video description if you want to check out that review because my opinions haven't really changed on the pastels, but they did come out with this new color range. And that was my biggest complaint about the pastels was that their color range leaves, left something to be desired. Um, so their first range was a, was a portrait set um, and it was all, uh, earth tones and I did have some blues and reds and you know basically your basic portrait assortment um, and so this one came out to set of 36 it's around $40 and um, the brochure is not really all that uh, that helpful if you speak English and not Chinese but uh, it comes well packed in a foam box that you can use as storage and this is what the uh, the lid of the box looks like um, this was $40 and it had a coupon on it when as the time I'm reviewing this so a 10% off coupon so making that around $36 so around a dollar for a half stick which I think is pretty um, it's pretty reasonable for the quality. So I did this painting here on Canson XL sand grain paper and I used probably 90% the uh, Paul Rubens pastels and I used a little pan pastel for the background and I used uh, some like new pastels for some details and I used a couple pastel pencils for details but it was 90-95% the Paul Rubens. And then I also used it, used them for, I would say about 95% of this painting here. So vibrant colors showed up really well on these uh, gray and white papers. I grabbed a piece of just, this is just in the scrap pile. It's just a piece of scrapbook paper that has a, like a dark gray background. So I wanna show you just how these look on the dark paper as well. Very opaque. They also blend really well. If you like to do blending, of course, this is a smooth paper, so it's not going to hold a ton, but the colors blend very, very well. Um, I looked over all the pigment information, which I don't think was included in this brochure, in the brochure here, unless it was in Chinese and I don't read Chinese. So I went to Amazon and they do have the... Um, the listing with a pigment chart and I checked all the pigments and they were all light fast pigments. There was a couple I wasn't familiar with, a couple of the orange pigments, PO73 and PO36 I think. Um, don't quote me on that. I believe those were the two pigments though. Um, but I did check them on the uh, pigment database online and they are light fast pigments. So good information there. Um, I wouldn't hesitate to use these on works to sell or permanent works of art. The only reason when I might not recommend these over another brand, well, first of all, these are very soft pastels. So these are more for like, you can do a whole painting in these, but you're probably will need something else for detail like a new pastel or pastel pencil or something, or you could use these for your final touches over a harder pastel, which would be the most economical way to use these. If you had, say, a less expensive set of harder pastels and you want to do the bulk of the work in that, you could go over with this and blend. You can actually use like harder pastels to go over these softer pastels and blend them together without them getting too blendy. Um, ooh, my camera went a little crazy there. Um, so the and the only other reason I would recommend a different brand over these would be if the Sennelier's had a really good sale. These feel so much like the Sennelier pastels. I don't think they're the same pastels, but they feel so much like the Sennelier pastels that um, if the Sennelier pa pastels are cheaper, which sometimes they are on Amazon these days in the sets, then I would go for Sennelier. But if these are cheaper, I would go for these. They are um, they are a real bargain. They feel so much like Sennelier, and I love this assortment. Now, the assortment is a little bit light on the earth tones, and I think that's because they originally released that portrait set that had a lot of earth tones. So if you had this one, you could always build on with the other set. They're both around the $40 mark, and I think that's pretty reasonable for this quality. It's just that Sennelier pastels have been... Oh my gosh, I don't know why my camera is doing that. Um, Sennelier pastels have been really affordable the last couple months on Amazon. I don't know how long those sales are going to run, but... Obviously, if Sennelier is cheaper, I would go with that. But I have no qualms with the pigments used. I've reviewed this before, so I'm not going to spend any more time on it. But I did want to let you know, in case you were wondering how this new set of Paul Rubin Soft Pastels stacked up to the to other brands and also to their um, 
their original portrait set. Same quality as a portrait set. I feel like they've gotten more consistent with the size of their pastels and the pigment information looks good. So, um, so I'd say, yeah, go for it. I like them. Um, I'm, I'm pleased with them. I think the price is good. They're probably the softest pastels I have are Schminka. Those are my favorites, but they're so expensive that I really don't even recommend them where Sennelier's and these Paul Rubens are half the price. I'd definitely go with these. Um, but if you prefer a firmer pa a pastel, you probably won't like these. If you prefer more like a Rembrandt or the old Windsor and Newton um, pastels or a lot of the square pastels that are out, if you like that consistency, these may feel too soft for you. But I also think it's really nice to have a set of soft pastels that you can use for those, for layering on those absolute final details, the sprinkle on the cupcake, those last final touches that you want to stick on top of the other layers. The soft pastels do that. So um, I give them two thumbs up. I think they're a good deal. And um, hopefully between this review and the other review I did that's a little more in-depth, you have all the information you need to make a choice on these. And my camera's going wonky. I have no idea why. <laughs> I must be tired because we've done a lot of filming today. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll show you those two uh, paintings one more time just so you can have that uh, frame of reference. And I enjoy them. I have to say I enjoy most of Paul Rubens, pro Rubens products. I think they're pretty good quality for money. Um, yeah, and these are no exception. I don't like all their products, but usually they're pretty good value for money. And there you have it. Uh, these are handmade pastels. Uh, they seem to be hand rolled. There's a little inconsistency, but these are much more consistent than the previous ones. Um, yeah, two thumbs up for me. I think they're good value. I think they're good quality. Um, I think if you want a soft pastel, you'll enjoy them. If you already have Sennelier, though, these are probably going to feel very samey. And uh, if you don't need more pastels, if you're not trying to bulk up your set, then I would pass if you have a big set of Sennelier's. But if you don't, and you're looking for that quality for a less lower price, then go for it. This is longer than it needed to be, even though it's only six minutes. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.